your name and where you're from. My name is Priscilla and I'm from Richland. Okay, and can you please share with us how did you come to Hunger Generation and what was your first experience? I first came to Hunger Generation when my cousin Manny invited me here. And when I first got here, everyone was hugging me. And I was like, okay, I'll go with it. And then um, we started worship and I thought that was really nice. Okay, and so after uh, your first time being here, can you tell us how did you give your life to Jesus Christ? What happened? Um, that night, I actually gave my life to Jesus Christ. Um, when Vlad was preaching, is just like he knew that I was coming. I came with an open heart, and I got something out of the message. And it's just like he knew he was that I was going to be here, and he wrote the message for me. Amen. We get a lot of people that say that. He must have read my email. And so can you, can you share with us, how was your life before you gave your life to Jesus Christ? Um, my life before Christ was just, I guess I would say depressing. I was just filled with like all these sad thoughts that I wasn't good enough. I'm just drinking to like numb the pain and hoping that it would go away, but it just didn't. Okay, and after you gave your life to Jesus Christ, what happened? What kind of changes have you noticed? Um, ever since that night, I just, I just noticed that my mood has been lifted. Um, I've just been a happier person. I don't have those thoughts anymore, and I don't drink anymore at all. Okay, can you also share with us, what are your goals now being in the ministry? Um, my goal now is to start my own home group by April, if not sooner. And Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Last but not least, can you uh, share your word of advice? What advice would you have for other people, maybe in their same situation as you? Um, my advice would be just once you actually give your life to Jesus Christ, you realize why everything happened. You realize why you went through those hardships so you can explain to people that it does get better, that you're not alone. Yeah.